Next at 6, a Democratic primary is shaping up in a recall race for governor. Political reporter Jessica Harp has the latest on who's in and what it'll mean for the race. Jess? Well, Democrats, for the most part, had said they wanted to focus on gathering signatures for the recall, but given that effort is over, some say a campaign will be a sprint to a nomination. People have encouraged me from all across the state to run. Kathleen Falk says when she stepped down as Dane County Executive, she didn't plan on running for governor. What I said then was the truth, that um, I didn't know what that next big chapter for me would be. Would I have one more big challenging job in me and I needed to go find it? And uh, who would have guessed? that Scott Walker would do to our state what they did. We got organized, we got the signatures, and we will take back our state. She's now officially entered the Democratic field for governor should the GAB verify a million signatures turned in to force a recall election against Governor Scott Walker. But she won't be the only one. I intend to run. Democratic Senator Tim Cullen is also in, saying a primary will be good for the process. I think it's probably the only way to um, um, really assure the people of Wisconsin that, 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 that they're picking the nominee. Um, if you don't have a primary, then it raises the obvious question, who chose the candidate? So others like Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett, Representative Peter Barca, and former Congressman Dave Obey are still mulling the idea. State uh, Senator John Erpenbach says the decision is not just about his own place, chances. Uh, in I'm definitely interested in, in the job, and I'm definitely interested in, in, in uh, running, and I think I, could, I think I could do a really good job. That being said, my biggest concern is who is in the best position to defeat Governor Walker. I'd like to think I am, but I also know I bring some negatives as well. A spokeswoman for Governor Walker issued a statement blasting Falk today, saying she is a hand-picked nominee of union bosses and highlighting two statewide election losses for governor and for attorney general. Now, we've heard a little of that in recent weeks. So, Jess, what role, if any, are the unions playing here? Well, in fact, many of the state employee unions have been meeting with candidates, and a spokesman told WIS Politics today they each plan to make their own endorsements in the coming months. Our political reporter, Jessica Arp. Jess, thanks.